everybody and welcome back to FM 2020 with me TW1 as York City Manager. We are in the third season and today is the Caramel Wafer Challenge Cup Final against the Crusaders who are a Northern Irish Premier Division team. They've won their Division 2 times in a row. Let's have a little glance through their players. In the round are standard, really. They've got a couple of players who look like they have some potential. They have a couple of players who look a little bit lackluster. So, yeah, should be a good game. I think we have a little bit more star power than them. So, fingers crossed, we should get the job done. So, let's jump into schedule quickly and catch you up on where we were at. So, the first game was the Ebbs Fleet game. We played them. They were ninth in the league at the time. We won 2-0 at home. And as you can see by the stats, very, very good dominant performance throughout. Maloney with another long-range blast gets a goal. Ferguson with another assist and a goal. Great performance throughout, and I loved that a lot from the boys on that one. Game number two was the 2-2 draw to second in the league, Bromley, at home. They went uh, up early on. They scored a great little goal, and I was concerned, but Mooney very quickly equalised, turning up in a big game, which he doesn't often do to score the goal, but it only took another seven minutes for them to take the lead, and I thought that was that. Until the 91st minute, the first minute of added on stoppage time, Mooney with his brace to complete a nice 2-2 draw. Very, very happy with that. If you look at the match stats, we were the better side. You could say that we edged it, but it was very even, Stevens. They had more possession, so happy with the performance and cool with that 2-2 to re retain our lead at the top of the table and not lose any ground. We then were at home to Swindon Town in the FA Trophy fourth round. We won that 2-0 with Anna Marich and Carl McFarlane scoring the goals. Match stats will show you that we were the better side yet again. More possession, more shots, more chances. They didn't even create a clear-cut opportunity. We were the dominant side and it really did show throughout. So very happy with that performance as well. And we move on to the next round in the FA Trophy. Next game up was the Hartlepool game away at Hartlepool live on TV. And Kane Sykes clearly didn't want to be on TV and got himself sent off for a horrific tackle that luckily didn't injure Adam Maric. He got a straight red two minutes in and then we took utter control of the game. Oliver McFarlane, Mooney and Ferguson all getting in amongst the goals. They did get one goal back from an absolute thunderbolt. But the result was never in doubt. Look at the performance though for Nathan Dyer. He's coming to the side after a little while out. We eased him into the squad slowly, slowly, slowly. Look at that. Chances created one, four key passes, two assists at 8.6. He was very, very good. And the stats of this game are disgusting. 68% possession, 21 shots, 12 of them, you know, two clear cut opportunities, one half chance. They had nothing. Long range goal as well, I think, in that game. So, yeah, great performance throughout for the 4 1 victory in the league over Hartlepool. Swindon Town was a little bit of a trickier tie away from home in the league. It was a 1 0 victory, which was separated the sides by an Adam marriage penalty in the 29th minute. And yet again, though, Nathan Dyer with man of the match, two chances created, eight key passes. He was very, very good throughout. Match stats would suggest that we should have a little bit more in this game. Three clear-cut opportunities, four half chances. They blocked a lot of shots as well. So a very, very good performance. None of the strikers really turned up though. Mooney had a good game, but didn't get on the score sheet. And the last game that I've literally just played is the 3-2 victory over Macclesfield Town at home. We were in utter cruise control. After the third minute, Mooney taking the lead with a lovely little goal. And then Nathan Dyer gets in his first of the season with a cracking header. Nathan Aho made it look like it was in the bag. 3-0 up after 46 minutes, but we made it hard for ourselves. Ollie McCoy getting his first and second goals of the season for Macclesfield. We utterly dominated them in the first half. They had no shots on target in 60 minutes until they went and broke the uh, clean sheet for us which I was a little bit frustrated by. 
Click on opportunities and half chances was suggest it was a tighter game than it was, but we had all of the possession, all of the ball, and all of the shots, and could have ran away with this a little bit more than 3 2. 3 2, I think, looks a little bit kind on them. It's time for Mooney O Meter! With your host, T. Davy One. Mooney O Meter for episode 8. So since the last time we gave Mooney a rating, he has played 5 games, scoring 4 goals and 1 assist. That is an assist or a goal every 90 minutes. It's it's honestly quite stunning how good he's been this season. I expected him to be good and that's why we went and spent the £100,000 on him. But he has been absolutely lights out electric and he's been supported very well as um, from players like Aho and Maric as well, so goal scoring is up in the whole team, and that's why we're going to give we give Mooney. This is what Mooney Amit is all about. We're going to give him a solid to hero rating because I feel like that's where his level is. If he goes and does something more than a goal a game, he's then into the heroes, uh, not quite into it. So yeah, in between solid and hero, that is a very comfortable rating I think for Mooney. And now we will get back to the action. With all that said and done, with nine games to go in the league, the league table looks like this. We are 12 points clear at the top of the table, absolutely romping away with it. Better goal difference by 32 goals. Cracking, stunning performance so far by the league. But today is all about the cup competition, so we will get into that. We are up against the Northern Irish side, like I said. And we will be getting into our team selection and talking about why Mooney's on the bench. Mooney's on the bench because he has a trait or a personality type which gives him the thing where he doesn't feel comfortable in big matches. So we're not going to play him. He doesn't feel comfortable in big matches. He's fairly inconsistent. And that is something that we're just going to drop him for this game. He is the wild card off the bench. He may come off the bench and score a lot of damage for us. But for now, I'm going to keep him on the pitch. There's only one player on the pitch who is not comfortable in the big matches. Everyone else they either don't care or they, a couple of them relish the opportunity. So we are happy to go with that. I believe Oliver is the only guy on the pitch who is not comfortable in big matches. And I believe Baines is the only one, really, who properly relishes it. Yeah, he is the only one with the green. There's a couple of the yellow relishes, but this one's relishes it fully so Lewis Baines are expecting a big performance out of him today if we are going to get the W and pick up our first trophy out of three potentially and complete the non-league treble which would be cracking if we did obviously there is a chance to get the quadruple but we're not going to win an FA Cup are we so that's not going to happen let's see really we're not the favourites of this we really are not uh, it's a great opportunity for the pundits, yeah. I think that's the only thing to say. I did, did have a team meeting where we're not the favourites to win this competition. So I just said, you know, we're here, enjoy the occasion and play the best you can. We are kicking from left to the right and the Crusaders are from the right to the left in this first half. The kits are not exactly the most ideal. We are in the red and white and they are in the red and black. I'm sure someone somewhere could have picked out something a little bit better. We're also in a neutral stadium. I'm not 100% sure where the game is being held. We'll look at the end of the game. It's irrelevant now. We're in it. And the crowd looks pretty packed in in a double-tier stadium. There's a big old fire station. I'm talking about a fire station and Carl McFarlane has just scored. I really wasn't paying attention. I'm really, really sorry. That is stupid. Carl McFarlane with the goal. Oh, that's such a terrible goal. <laughs> We're one and up in a cup final. I was talking about a fire station over to the right. That's brilliant, isn't it? It looks like a fire station. It probably isn't. Oliver now will actually commentate the game now. Oliver, Dedaya, Estrada. Can we get a second goal early on in this game and just try and take the wind out of the opposition and we're going to cruise to a victory. McGinley now with a little chance down the right hand side. Big little ball into Heap who shuffles it out to the left hand side for Robinson. Back into Heap in midfield. Spreads the ball back out to McGinley. Good left to right to right to left football from 
Crusaders back out to Robertson as far as left outside. Heap is dictating the tempo so far. Back to Doherty. Now Heap. Chambers. Closed down well by Ben. Back to Heap who's being closed down. Robertson has slipped off Dyer and got the cross in. Reed with a shot but Jacob OJ holds. And that is the end of that highlight. But we are straight into another one with Heap on the ball. Out wide to Doherty. Good little dribble. A good press by Marich. Doesn't quite win the ball. Little one, two. Oh, and Marich has stolen it. Now it's a chance to counter attack. Marich. Marich, can he go all the way? He can, but me with a great save. One on one. It's a fine stop indeed. And now we have a corner instead. Marich with the ball in. Aho goes up. Oliver will collect. Finds Marich. Back to Oliver. Can he swing it across, maybe? He does. In towards Ben. Chambers gets beaten to it by McGuinness. The only Northern Irish player on my team. He may, you know, have an affinity to this Crusader side. Ball in. Thompson with the header. Jacob OJ holds that from the corner. We did just do training because I take over training now. Because it is the better way of doing things. And I have practiced defending set pieces and defending all of the stuff like that. So, And we've also practiced penalties. So... If it goes to penalties, we should be well prepared. So far, 22 minutes played, and we are 1-0 up through that Carl McFarlane weird little toe poke at near post. Nathan Dyer with the cross in. Thomason away. Chambers gets there first. A little bit of pressure. Now McGinley with a long ball forward. Baines brings it down calmly with his right peg. Plays with his left to Ben, and now Ben with the ball forward, potentially. Nope, back to Baines. Back to McGuinness. McGuinness with a long lump forward. Aho gets beaten to it. Now Ben. Estrada looks for Sahara. Nice little ball roll to beat the defender. Gets across in. Finds Aho at near post. And it's blocked. And goes out for a corner kick. Action so far. And there's opening 25 minutes here. Marich with the corner in. And me with the big jump. And the big hold on that one. I probably should do a team shout at some point. Oh, Nathan Dyer! I wasn't commentating to it because I wasn't expecting anything. Nathan Dyer has just scored his second goal of the season from a free kick. I want to say it's a good 25 yards out. He's picked out top bins. The keeper gets a hand but can't stop it. And we are 2-0 up in this game from two goals I wasn't really expecting. It's a terrible commentary by me. I do apologise. Doherty now. Crusaders must feel what the hell's up for them. Every single time I get distracted, we score a goal. That is excellent. McGinley now on his right-hand side. Out to Kennedy. Finds McGinley. Out to Weir. McGinley again. Finds Reed. Gets a shot away. It's a great little tip by Jacob OJ. Let's have a little shout at DeMar Moore. I, I don't know what more we can demand out of the team. We're 2 nil up from 2 well, one weird goal and one cracking free kick. Reed here to Chambers. Reed. Good pressure by Estrada. Oh, that looked painful, son. Look, you're doing your groin in. Good pressure, though. Chambers back to Heap. Still Chambers. Where? Close down well. It's out for a throw in. The highlight does eventually end. We got a shout out, and one person likes it, one person dislikes it. It's about even, really. I'll take it. Oliver to Marich. Now Ben. Chance to grab a third and fully take control of the game, potentially. Inside the first half. McFarlane with the ball in. In towards Aho. Marich controls it on the edge of the box. Has a flash shot. Ben wrestles the ball off him at the edge of the box. He does well to win that ball off, Ben, and not give away a penalty. Here is Estrada now. To Ben. Looked for Sahara, but didn't really go for it. Sahara kind of battles for that and Marich nods the ball back down to Ben. Good possession by us. Estrada now. Little chip ball out to Dyer. One on one with the winger. Robinson does really well to take the ball off his toe. Now it's Doherty. Poor ball into midfield. Ben steps in McFarlane. 3-0. The offside flag's not up. It's game over. I'm, I'm calling it now. With 31 minutes played, it is game over. I don't think our team is going to throw away a 3 or lead here. We have been stunning of late. And that is a poor, poor decision by their defender. And Ben does the right thing. Play the simple ball for the 
running McFarlane, who does who does beat the offside trap. Well done. Cracking, 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 cracking. 3 0 up in this cup final and absolutely cruising. And my decision to drop Mooney for McFarlane so far has been justified. McFarlane's done the damage. I might not even have to play Mooney. I can rest him for the league game. That is exactly what you want. If we get, if we are in full control late on, I will bring McF uh, McLaughlin on because he is a captain, so he can lift the uh, he can lift the trophy. That'd be nice for him. Well, 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 well. First half done. Three 0 up. It's been great. It's been really, really good. Possession's not great. They have been the better side when it comes to possession, but we've just been devastating going forward, punishing every little mistake that they make. Certainly, you know, don't get complacent. We need to gain some focus and try and finish this game off now. Just give it another 15 minutes, keeping it 3-0, then I'll be very, very comfortable. I'm pretty happy with the way it is, but after watching my team give away two silly goals last game in the second half, there's a little bit of doubt in my mind, not a massive amount. Maric with a chance to get the ball into the box. He does so. Header by somebody and it's out for a goal kick. Didn't see who got the header on that. Teams have a good performance. Maybe the only one who's lacking is probably Sahara. Sahara finds Aho now. Into Ben. Crosses blocked. Back to Sahara. Finds Ben in the pocket and has a little drive at goal. But me holds that one easily. Mark Randall on for them. Aaron Heap, who I thought was playing well for them, has gone off. Chambers with the ball in for them from the corner. OJ's come for it and missed it. Sahara has cleaned it off the line. That's a cracking, cracking bit of goal line clearance from Sahara. OJ's had a little bit of an awful shocker there. That is... You just don't want to see that. You do not want to see that. And as a person who played defence, if I saw my goalkeeper do that once, I'd then be worried every single set piece forward. I'm going to have a little bit more shout of demand more just to keep the boys engaged. I probably should just ignore them because they're all convinced and confident and just leave them alone. Let them stay in their green. Marriage from a free kick. Oh, he's nearly squeezed it in bottom bins. Oh, he's nearly squeezed it in bottom left and Ben was nearly there to mop it up as well. 65, 66 minute plays, and I think it's time for our first. Oh, we got a highlight? No, we haven't. Okay, let's go back to tactics before we had a highlight for a second. And let's start thinking about a few subs. Maybe who's tired and who's not. That would be Sahara's tired, so he can come off. And he can be our first sub of the game. Just letting the minutes tick down really now. An attacking fullback for a young centre half. Jason Zahara is a lot better than Ferguson defensively, but fitness is the key one. Just need to try and keep my squad rotating around for fitness, especially if we want to go deep in every composition like we have so far this season. So if we want to you know, try and get the record for league wins and league points and then crack on and win an FA Trophy, we're going to need to keep the boys nice and fresh. Estrada now into the last 10 minutes of the game. Giving away to Gorman. McGinley with a drive at goal and Jacob OJ tips it over the bar for a corner to the Crusaders. 10 minutes ago, if they get a goal here, it might cause a little bit of drama. Good header away by McGuinness, the 6'6 six six and a half. Now it's Doherty. Good challenge by Marich. Good aggression. Well done by Adam Marich. And that is that highlight ended. And we will bring on Paddy McLaughlin for Ben. Give Ben a little bit of rest. And give McLaughlin on the pitch because he is captain. And we would like to give him the opportunity to lift the trophy. Because it is just respectful and nice for the lad. Look at Carl McFarlane. Cracking rating. Cracking performance so far by him. McLaughlin with the free kick in. People going up. Reed brings it away for the Crusaders and has a chance to break. Guy on the wide right is the option, I believe. He's found him. Here's Gorman. Chance to drive into the box. Good tackle by Dias. Full for Chambers and just wide. Can we keep the clean sheet? That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? That would be quite nice. They have had more possession than us, but we have been the better side. I'm going to bring on Joshua King for one of the centre-halves, potentially. No, Nathan Dias is the most tired, so... 
Hill's coming on for Dyer. Final few minutes of the game. And we are cruising towards our first trophy of the season. Well, the whistle should blow any moment now. McGinley, oh, don't ruin the clean sheet, lad. Just let the clean sheet go. Give OJ something. Jesus Christ. Rolls it out to McGinnis. Into Marich. Can we go and grab a fourth just to party piece? Go on, Marich. Keep going, son. Keep driving. Oh, I love it. Experienced lad. Takes it towards the corner. Finds it at home. Thompson. He is offside. And I think the whistle will be blowing any moment now. As me kicks this ball forward. Um, no, ref. Ref. Blow the whistle, man. Jesus Christ. Just This is a waste of time. There we go. And that is our first trophy of the season. We have the chance to get two more to make it the non-league treble. Who's lifted the trophy? It looks like Carl McFarlane. I put on McLaughlin for a reason, man. Jesus. I. That is one of the weirdest FM games I've seen. It's one of the weirdest commentaries I've ever made. Because I was not paying attention for the first goal. Or the second goal. And we've just won a cup final. The ref gets a 7.1. Well done, Glenn. Good ref and performance, I guess. Carl McFarlane, man of the match. Ben had a great game. Dyer with a cracking free kick. Can't say much more else, can we, really? Let's go praise the boys. And then we will talk about when we'll be coming out next time. Congratulations, boys. Enjoy these moments. That is what being a footballer is all about well you've already just had a little tease there the FA Trophy semi-final is in a couple of days time in a week's time so we will be back for that in a double header episode we're playing the first and second leg of the FA Trophy semi-final against AFC Telford who are in the league below in the Vanarama National League North and we played them earlier in the season. As I scroll up and make an awful noise with my mouth. I just need to click and drag. We played them in this game in the fourth round of the FA Cup qualification. And we beat them 2-0 for a Keasley Mooney performance. So we will be back uh, very, very shortly for the Telford game. Well, I'll be back. You'll be back whenever I release the video, I suppose. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been TDAV1. That is trophy number one of three we are going for. Let's see if we can do it. And as always guys, peace out.